Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Um, today I will look at a very useful feature in Cubase where you can lock the events uh, in your project. And you can simply do this by selecting the events you want to lock and type the key command Command Shift L. You will get this little lock on the event and uh, the event will be locked. Uh, in my case it's locked to position because this is a preference I set in my preferences menu but you can change this over here uh, under in the info line and lock if you don't have the info line you can click up here and choose info line make sure it's checked off here and uh, in your info line you can change this is also a way to lock the events you can change the position size or other or any combination of them and simply put position locks the position of the audio event so you can't you can't really move it. It will stay on the track and it will stay on the same uh, sync that it has. This is relative to the sync that you're using in the uh, for your track. So right now my track is set to the time base, but if I toggle it to uh, musical base, um, it will uh, relate to the bar. For time base, it will relate to the time code. For size, you can see that now we can change the position of the event very easily but we cannot change the size. You can see the handles down here, which you usually have in other events, they're gone. Uh, and this is also useful when you make make a very a perfect trim, when you, when you know exactly where you want the audio event to begin and where it should end, and then you can lock it to the, to the size and you won't be able to move it around anymore. The last attribute you can lock is the other and this is simply put everything else except uh, position and size. So this relates to the volume, the fading, but also the processing you apply to your um, to your events. And um, if you only select other, you can still change the size and you can still move the event around. When you have locked an event and you want to change the attribute it's locking, you can do this simply by pushing the key command, command shift L. And you'll see you get this uh, dialog window where you can change what you want to lock. To unlock an event very quickly, you could type the key command command shift U and your uh, event is unlocked. Uh, one last thing uh, we can have a look at is the preferences menu. You go to the edit up here and then down here you can say lock event attributes and this is how uh, the key command will behave. So every time you hit the key command, this is what it's gonna lock. For me, it's set to position because that's the attribute I'm usually locking when using this uh, key command, but you can easily set any of the others parameters as you see fit. So select the one you want, position for me, and then hit apply and okay. And there you go. That's all for now. I hope this has been helpful for you, or at least interesting. And um, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback or any questions, uh, please uh, reach out. Thanks for watching. See you later.